my beautiful followers. I hope everyone is waking up and starting their day on a positive foot. I am driving home from yoga class, hence why I'm all sweaty and nasty, and if you had smell o vision it wouldn't smell very good. No, no uh, I headed home from yoga class, and yes, last night I actually I wrote an article of the article because it was still kind of stirring in my brain and I got a couple comments on it. And that's moderate effort in relationships. So I was in yoga class yesterday when this kind of came to me and it was stirring a bit uh, prior, but it really hit me in the middle of yoga class. I was hitting a position and in this position, the instructor was saying only moderate effort. Don't go to your edge here. Do not push, but but put enough effort in that you are at least building the muscle. You're at least challenging yourself, but keep it at moderate effort. And as I was trying to find my moderate effort for the day where I was not using all my strength so I could sustain through the entire posture, but at the same time, I was still pushing myself as I was trying to find my personal moderate effort. It came into my head because of some of the things kind of going on in my life and the stories I'm hearing and that clients are bringing me, friends are bringing me, family is bringing me about the need for moderate effort in our relationships. A lot of times we think we have to go really hard in our relationships. We really have to like push and push and push and push in our relationships. And actually that is untrue. This is untrue because when we are pushing at 100%, a lot of times we are grasping, we are trying to control, we are holding, we are not going in the flow of the actual relationship. We are pushing against the relationship. We are chasing, we have chasing energy. Or we are in a sense of scarcity. And so maybe we have not done our work on our relationship. And when I say relationship, this goes for all our relationships. This goes for our family, our friends, our intimate partners, new dating relationships, sisters, brothers, colleagues, it doesn't matter. Anybody that you want to have a close relationship with, a strong relationship with. So a lot of times we will go, oh, I'm not putting enough effort in. And so then we go to the extreme and what ends up happening is we get into a sense of scarcity because we're fearful of losing that relationship. So we end up going overboard. And the relationship, a lot of times at that point, is very unbalanced. It's not balanced because one person is trying way too hard. They're pushing. They're pushing and pushing and pushing. And a lot of times, um, I see this a lot in my couple's clients, a lot of times there is a, a goal to be for, for people who are trying to over push in a so they're trying to get something and unfortunately so like there's a client a couple I'm thinking of right now and when the husband does this he is looking for sex he is trying to just get sex and his woman knows that and so every time she sees him trying she actually backs away she pulls away from the relationship because she's like he is only trying because he wants to have sex tonight if he didn't want to have sex tonight, he wouldn't be trying at all. He he would be giving 10% effort. And this is another phenomenon that tends to happen in relationships. We go from pushing really hard, 100%, doing everything right, to getting fatigued and weak and pushing that relationship to 10%, 10%. And then we go, oh crap. We go into scarcity mode. I haven't done my work on the relationship. I'm not working on it enough. I'm not doing enough. And so we swing back over. But what ends up happening in those re those relationships and we is that we don't build a stability. We don't have any foreground of true trust and true love and true connection because we're doing this. And that in relationships creates 
distrust. It creates distrust. It creates disconnection. It creates this uh, abusive pattern. I'm not saying anybody's abusing anybody, but it's a, a an abusive pattern. And the pattern is this swinging back and forth, this never knowing what you're going to get with somebody else. You know, never knowing, are, is this a day that I'm going to get all this love and focused attention? And is this person going to be there for me? Or am I going to be left? And so, in relationships, what... And I don't... This is not across the board in every single um, day of our lives, but... For the most part, our relationships require us to give moderate effort. Moderate effort. So you are doing the check-ins. You are connecting. You are sharing that person's love language. So if that person needs words of affirmation, you're giving them. You're saying, I love you. You're saying, I appreciate you. You're actually recognizing when somebody does something good for you. So if you have a partner that every single day does something for you, if you have a friend that every single day does something for you, if you have a, if your kid every single day goes, mommy, let me go grab you your cup of coffee, taking a second to stop and go, this person doesn't have to do this. Thank you. I appreciate it. And just not thanks. Thanks is nothing. That is like a fuck you. It really is. I, I hate when people are like, thanks. And it really is so flippant. Thank you. I appreciate you. Really recognizing that person. See, that's moderate effort. That doesn't take a lot of effort. That is not going and buying balloons and flowers and, and, and really going overboard and always stepping up and always being like, I love you. Thank you. Like, too much. That's too much. It's too much effort. You're not going to be able to sustain that long term. And that other person is not going to be able to sustain you doing that long term. So it's this moderate effort. Now, there are times in our lives when somebody and a relationship needs more. There are these times, like if somebody is has a tragedy that happens, if, if something traumatic happens to somebody, if somebody has a death in the family, Oftentimes, that relationship at that point does need a little bit more effort. We are moderate effort goes up from maybe 50% to maybe 70% because that person is really needing. What's going on with my phone? It's all like got all got all uh, foggy. Maybe that person at, and that relationship at that point is needing more effort. If you have not been taking care of your relationship for a long time, that moderate effort at the very beginning is going to be a higher percentage than that moderate effort when we're just, just sustaining. And then sometimes we need more, more attention on our own relationship within. So we need more attention on ourselves and so we cannot focus in on relationships and so sometimes we pull back from our relationships a little bit. And so our moderate effort in those points might be only 20%. However, the most of the time you want to stay in this kind of middle ground of moderate effort, of, of giving and receiving and allowing the flow. When we get into the 100%, we are pushing too hard and we can't allow the actual flow of the relationship to happen. And then, then when we are at the very um, front end, we get lazy. We get lazy. We end up building resentments. People go, oh, see, now they want me. Now they don't. Now they want me. Now they don't. We, we end up bouncing people back and forth. And we bounce ourselves back and forth. And so it is making it your pattern in every relationship that's important to you. Okay, I'm not talking about your mailman of your mailman and you do, don't have a great relationship, that's cool. But your intimate partner, again, your family, your friends, those that you have in your some of your inner circles, maybe not your very inner circle, but those few circles that are closest to you, looking at those people and going, am I making moderate effort? Am I making moderate effort that they can hear, that they can feel, that is their love language? If you are like, I'm making effort, 
but it's not in their fucking love language, then you're not actually loving them. You're not accepting what they need. You're not accepting where they're at. You're, you're trying to give love from an ego perspective of, well, they just have to take love the way that, that I give it. And there is some compromise in realizing that we all give love differently. But if you are trying to make moderate effort to really connect with somebody, make sure that you are connecting with them in their love language. So is that time? Is that gifts? Is that words of affirmation? Is that physical touch? What is their love language? And speak to them in that way. Speak to them in that way. So my challenge to you is take the five people in your life that truly matter you the most or influence your life the most so you really do have a have a deep relationship and are you taking the time with each of them for moderate effort to truly connect are you going overboard are you o almost over loving them because usually in that place it's not coming from a true space of love usually it's coming from a place of ego it's coming from not unconditional love but conditioned love and that is not true love or are you just freaking lazy? Have you been married for 50 years and you're like, yeah, she knows I love her. He knows I love him. Are you getting lazy? Are you not putting the effort in? Because when we stop putting the effort into our relationship, what ends up happening is yes, it breaks down, but also we don't grow, we don't expand. The people in our lives that are in our lives are there for a reason, to help us grow, to help us expand, to help us learn more about ourselves and to get that human connection we all need. So relationships don't require 100% effort. They don't. 100% effort most of the time is way too much. It's way too much. They require 100% focus in the moment with somebody. They require us to actually focus in on somebody when we are in having a conversation to have some presence, but they do not require 100% effort. We can't do that. We cannot give 100% effort to every single person in our lives. Our relationships require consistent, moderate effort and then a recognition when maybe a relationship at one point needs a little more or a little less. You need a little more, you need a little less and kind of feeling that middle ground, really feeling into that middle ground. So that is my suggestion for all of you. Uh, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this one. This is, I think, a, a challenging one for a lot of people because they're like, well, no, I should love them 100%. I should be always loving, loving, loving. And that's actually overboard. That's overboard. That's not how you sustain a healthy truly authentic and an integrity kind of relationship that's when we start putting masks on and we fake things so most relationships require moderate consistent loving truly loving energy so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day um i have my solo tantra coming up on what starting Wednesday, it's a three day global course. We're gonna dive deep into Tantra, and you do not need a partner for this workshop. This is a solo practice workshop. Now you can take all the principles that we're gonna go through because it's three days of jam packed content online, so you get to watch it from your your home in your jammies uh, and then you get to keep the content forever but it's jam-packed content and you can take all of the content and it is applicable to your relationships but this course is just for the single solo person to focus in on self to really build that tantric practice up within self and then to expand it out into your relationships and your connections and your world really um so check that out that's at addisonbell.net other than that, um, I think that's all I'm going to announce today. I have lots going on, so just check out my events calendar. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. I am doing free spirit talks today with Kendall Williams at 1 o'clock. So keep an eye out. Set a timer. Come watch us talk about, I think we're talking about something around boundaries today. So come check it out, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Bye, guys. Love you all.